Well, in the weather world, uh, today is the last day of winter and meteorological spring begins March 1st. We don't do it off the astronomical calendar, which is what you'll see spring being in a couple of weeks here. We do it when things begin to warm up and March 1st is officially the first day of spring and weather world. Let's look at my winter forecast for this year. We were looking at long periods of warm and dry spells, short but intense cold blasts. We forecasted snow found in the changes there from when we go from cold to warm or warm to cold and frequent cold and snow unlikely. That pretty much happened across the area with this La Nina year that we had. We ended up with the fourth warmest average high temperature. And as we're forecasting our future here at WIFF for all this year, giving that perspective on whether we're or normal or above or below. And we were quite above normal in both temperature departments. The ninth warmest average low temperature of 36 degrees. We were the 27th driest with about 1.3 inches below normal in the rain department. And we had one major snow, a big one there, 6.5 inches of fish at the GSP. International Airport on January 16th. We are warming up this week and in fact farmers do not want to see this this early because it can cause the blooms to come out on peaches and apples. So we'll hope for a little bit of cooler air later on. But here we are sunshine and 60s across the area. 60 there in Greenville at 61 in Anderson, 59 in Spartanburg. We're at 60 in Hartwell, 59 in Clemson and 57 degrees in Asheville. Tomorrow morning when you wake up it will be chilly right around freezing for many of us, but we will warm up throughout the day. Cold mornings, warm days. That's going to be the theme this week as we have loads of sunshine. A lot warmer than today, closer to 70 tomorrow. In the mountains, you too will get to warmer. You're close to 60 tomorrow with some sunshine, a beauty of a day. You'll top out at 63 in Asheville, 68 in Greenville, and 67 in Anderson. The temperature trend is up this week. We're at 73 degrees by Wednesday, 76 on Thursday. Some in the southern part of the upstate will be pushing 80 degrees on Thursday. We're a little bit cooler on Friday, but still above that average high of 60 degrees and the temperature outlook does not look to be slowing down this week and next week feature well above average temperatures across the entire southeast and in fact next week I do have 80 degrees in my forecast. Let me show you how we get there. It's a big swing and a miss for each system that tries to come our way this week. We are just bone dry. Here's Thursday sunshine high pressure in control by this weekend. We are dry and warm on Saturday. Same story on Sunday, but a front trying to garner some strength back toward the west to get closer to us. It won't do so this weekend. What it might do is get closer to us late Monday. I've paused it here at 11 o'clock. That will be the first chance for rain that we'll have in over a week's time frame. The four day looks like this 66 degrees, some sunshine tomorrow, 73 on Wednesday. We're smooth sailing all the way through the work week and into the weekend. And look at that by Sunday, we're pushing 80 degrees. Get out and enjoy it. We are at 80 degrees by Sunday. That's almost 20 above where we should be for this time of the year. And in Western North Carolina, you too in the 70s going into this weekend, mid 70s with some showers late Monday.